Hey friendos, how's it going? It's The Enforcer here once again with another Jersey Boxing Unvideo. And this one is coming from the man, the myth, the legend, Ben H Sports on eBay. Once again, browse his shop on eBay, Ben H Sports, but do not buy from there. Email him, save 10% over the eBay price. Ben Hugenban at yahoo.ca. Anytime you need a jersey, hit him up, even if you don't see it. He may have not gotten to posting it yet, or he can put you on a list for when he expects things to come in. Actually, I've been having a whale of a time looking for a uh, the uh, new design for the uh, home Ottawa Senators jersey. Haven't been able to find it in my size. I uh, sent him an email saying I was uh, on the lookout for that. He put it on a list, he let me know. So at least when Ben gets it, he's gonna let me know. So that eases my mind a bit. So uh, if I happen to find it also, I'll just email him and say I found it. No harm done. Ben's a good guy. If you have not dealt with Ben yet, you're weary about dealing with somebody through email, don't even worry about it. Ben, above board guy. Ben, good guy, thanks again. So what I did with this one was, I actually did buy something uh, of his off of eBay. Cause uh, this, is how, this is how good of a guy uh, Ben is. Um, he'll get jerseys that are fully customized much like uh, this uh, Phil Kessel that I got here. By the way, these are jerseys that, a little selection of jerseys that I've picked up from Ben through the last few years. So um, um, he actually is so good about um, the customization. He goes through it with a fine tooth comb and then if there are jerseys that he sees that are, are slightly flawed, not only will he notify uh, people on the listing that it's that way, but he will also put those on bid. So it just, it goes to the highest bidder, bidder and that's the quality that he, the, the, the threshold is so high for Ben in order for him to sell it to you at the regular price for him it has to meet his standards and some of them just don't and he'll put it uh, uh, as a flaw on on his jersey and I was actually lucky enough to get one of those and I picked up two from him um, I won this bid but then also I emailed him to see if I could get another one to ride along he was more than willing to, uh, to, to work with me just because we have that rapport so once again Ben H Sports on eBay, good, good guy. And I got two here. I am unboxing only one here, so I'm gonna stretch, okay? And actually, here's another good thing he did too. He said, Steve, I know that you unbox these things. I'm gonna let you know um, I was gonna send off uh, one, the flaw on, already pre-packaged. That one's packaged in here along with the other one that I got that's gonna ride along just for this video, so. I appreciate you, Ben. Thank you so much so I don't have to fiddle with this. I know exactly what I need to grab in here when I do open this one. So this thing came last week for me. Didn't have a chance to do a video for it, but um, uh, looking forward to finally getting this thing done here. Um, so, and I see exactly what he did. So that's good. And this one will have a name and number. And this one technically has a flaw, technically. But from what he showed me, I'm gonna show you and you tell me whether it's that big of a deal for a flaw. So here that is. And then like he said, he had already pre-packaged that. So I have another one in here that, that one is for later, this one is for now. It's almost like an hour later. So here we go, gonna be un, I did a, a unbagging inside of an un, unbagging. So there we go. And you know what, hold on. Why am I grabbing this knife? It's got the perforated things. Look at that. We're all learning together, everybody. Also, I'm trying to be nice to my wrist too. I've kind of been beating it up over the last week or so at work. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my time with this one. So I don't really mean to stretch all that much but it's just the nature of, of how tender my my wrist is feeling. So, once again, man, the way he packages this thing, 
it's perfect like this and then when it comes out he puts it between two manila envelopes as well so the, his packaging is just so above board just so amazing and ben like i say ben is a good 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 guy this one isn't going to have the original packaging on it because he had to take it out and inspect it so and there you go <laughs> and here you go you know what since since uh, Sh shannon's uh, such a good dude here too he put on here uh, a, a card here for the hockey guy shannon so also if you have not um subscribed to uh, shannon over here the hockey guy uh, the hockey guy on youtube good 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 guy uh, youtube.com forward slash the hockey guy 130,000 subscribers man I wish I could just get to a thousand man but I'm on that road man I'm on that lonely road so let me uh let me get all this packaging off of here he told me there was a lot of ancillary packaging for this thing he gave me a heads up and man I'm I appreciate you because I'd be like man there's a lot of stuff but knowing knowing is always half the battle all right so, let me pull this baby out here. Any ideas, any guesses as to what it could be? Um, go on before I do it. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. I will say this. It's a jersey I already have, but it's not quite a jersey that I already have. And I am going to be doing a video on the differences between these two jerseys. That's also why I decided to uh, pick up this jersey as well. So um, hopefully the comment section is filling up with people instead of them shuffling all the way up to this moment right here as I'm about to show it to you. So this one right here is a home jersey. So it is gonna be, it's not gonna be a, uh, a, a white road jersey. It is gonna be a home jersey. And it is a St. Louis Blues home jersey in an Adidas. But here's the thing. Here's why I got this thing on, on the cheap. Because right here, it's a U, U, it's a Krug. That's a U, Yuri. It's a Krug. But here's the thing. I'm going to show you why why uh, uh ben had a problem selling it and he showed it as a flawed on do you see along in the stitching here where the material is sort of running away from the uh so the sewing these sort of frayed edges that you see right here all of this right here that is the reason why ben decided not to sell this at regular price and put it on a bid was because there were issues right here in the stitching which honestly now that i'm this close yeah i can see it i can see the issues that we have with it here but honestly if i go back like this and I, I'm, I'm at arm's length, like right here's the, the, the screen right there. I'm, I'm probably a good four feet away, maybe five feet at best. And then there's the issue that, that he had. I mean, I'll put it up to, him, to my mirror. I mean, dude, you're, in, you're at the game, you're out and about, you're, you're at, the, uh, at the mall, at the grocery store, you're anywhere. Who's gonna pick up on that? Who's really going to pick up on that? But that's the type of guy that Ben is. Ben will see that and go, I can't do that to my customers. I have to sell it at a flaw. I have to sell it as an issue. But it's such a minute thing that Ben decided I, I can't sell it like that. And that's what I'm saying. If you get a jersey from Ben H that is a while he still has them name and number jerseys you're going to get of the utmost quality like this phil kessel that i picked up off of him this thing is immaculate and i know 
plunking down that cash with Ben H is going to get you quality product like that. And once again, this reiterates the fact of Ben. He saw issues in the in the um, in the stitching and uh, the the frayness on the name on the uh, uh, nameplate and the name that he decided to sell it as a flaw on. Other than that, guys, we are talking about three layers name and numbering on here not that pre-made not that pre-installed adidas factory because of that that's not up to snuff but for someone like me dude this is all day and the embarrassing thing is i'm not going to tell you exactly how much i paid i'm, I'm just not going to do that but i will say this if you go on to like Cap get Galaxy, I picked up that Petrangelo jersey. I paid less for this than I did, did for that Alex Petrangelo Adidas factory installed jersey. No joke. I was lucky enough to, to get this probably because it was a 60, probably because it wasn't the biggest, highest end player that you could get. But for me, for the enforcer, Oh man, this is this is a beaut. And so that allows me to look up, look out in the upcoming uh, uh, videos that you're gonna see. I'm gonna show you side by side the differences. Cause now I have with that home Petrangelo jersey with the factory install. And also, I mean, look at that. You can see the three layers right there. I have the factory install and then I've got this hand stitched tackle twill jersey, which you know, once again, like like this Barzell, I can go on and play you a wiki wiki, right? But with this, different different sound. This is tackle twill, baby. This is this is the utmost of customization right here. This is what you this is what, what you pay for. It gives gives the jerseys that heft. The stuff that BA loves. BA loves the hand stitched jersey. Shout out to you, BA. Loving your jerseys. Every time I see you guy, you uh you post a video, I give that baby a look. So let's see. Oof. Oof. It's the one thing I really don't like about the hand stitching, or really any stitching really tightens the jersey up a bit <clears throat> there okay there we go all right so there that goes got the wow what a flaw huh guys what what a disaster for a jersey oh my god i can't believe it but friendos come on in with me i didn't do the whole neckline thing because you guys have seen this one here before so neck you see the nice beautiful blue note that you have there going down here to the striping down below over here no shoulder patch but right here into that 47 that beautiful hand stitched hand stitched number right there and yeah there that is and then once again you know what I haven't really done this before yet Take a look at the at the skill that 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 Kessel jersey has. Look at that. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. Okay, enough of that, guys. Friendos, appreciate. I I, I appreciate you. That's what I appreciate about you. All right. So, friendos, once again. Ben H Sports, eBay, check him out. He's the man, email him once again, ben.hooganban at yahoo.ca for all your jersey, uh, uh, um, um, for your jersey hookup. He says, uh, I might as well relay this to you because uh, when I asked him about that Ottawa jersey, he does not expect any major uh, restocking until the fall time probably September or so so um, 
it's going to be uh, um, you're going to be a little bit dry in terms of new product because everyone now we're coming up to playoffs and a lot of manufacturers and and uh, distributors like a cool hockey like a hockey authentics like ben uh, uh sports k all of these normal places that you would see they're trying to blast through the stock of what they have for this current season getting ready for next season because you're going to have a lot of people looking for seattle kraken jerseys me being one of them um you're going to have a uh, new um third jerseys maybe some of these reverse retros stay around as specialty jerseys you got anniversary jerseys coming up so a lot of what's already here people are going to try and blast out through so um be on the lookout for sales from some of these places especially teams that don't make the playoffs i know cool hockey is well known for blasting out teams that are not in the playoffs get 30 percent off or something like that so be on the lookout for those things and um hopefully you can pick yourself up a winner find a couple pieces to add to your collection if not enjoy the playoffs get ready for the new season of jerseys that could be out there so friendos i appreciate you getting to the end of this video on the road as always that long long road to a thousand subs if this is the first time you happen across my channel please give some other videos a look maybe if you like my content you give me a sub hopefully you give me a like for this video comment down below let me know what jerseys that you've been out out there finding uh, i love to talk about hockey jerseys that's a that's a passion of mine that's why there's a closet full of them so friendos once again thank you as always i appreciate it have yourselves a wonderful day and i will talk to you guys again bye